गुड इवनिंग ऑल अंकित दिस साइड माई सेल्फ अंकित नरूला फर्स्ट वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट इज आई एम गिविंग माई इंट्रोडक्शन एंड आफ्टर दैट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द कोर्स कंटेंट और एनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग योर करियर वॉन्ट टू आस्क एनी थिंग यू कैन प्लीज रेज योर हैंड एंड देन आई गिव यू दिस चांस टू अनम्यूट बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू कैन आस्क योर क्वेश्चन सो myself ankit narula i have total 10 years of experience in the it industry out of those 10 years of experience in first 3 years i worked in oracle applications as a techno functional consultant where we are generating reports we are modifying the forms we are doing conversions and we are generating reports based on our client requirement we are by writing sql queries or in some cases we need to write pl sql queries from last 7 years i am working in cloud platform and i am working in the top most used cloud platforms in the market azure and aws in both the cloud platforms i am working it from last 7 so this is about me any question anyone have you can please raise your hand and ask me if you don't have any question i'm requesting you to please don't raise your hand yes sir sai chandu you have raised your hand Ram Kumar, you can unmute. Hi, Ankit. Uh, my name is Ram. Hey, yes, sir. Uh, actually, I have around five years of working experience in banking domain. Okay, you are from a different background. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I'm looking for a job change for completely a domain change. May I may, may I know in which bank you are working right now? actually i'm working in cognizant right now okay but in banking domain yes okay may i know in your company i'm not sure about cognizant uh, in your company do you have cloud projects yeah they have cloud projects but That's... even i'm fine with that even uh, because it's really hard for an internal movement in mnsis so No, it's not hard. If you if they have IGP, you can apply for those IGPs and you can switch. Because if you are working, Ram, it will be very good for you to switch in your own company. Okay. Not just for Ram, it's for everyone. If anyone is working in a multinational company in MNC, if they have cloud project, the best option is switch in your own company. Ram, seven years back, I got the opportunity. i have changed in my own company i'm working from one company from last 10 years from the day one i'm working in the same company when i started my career okay so it's a bit best option is switch up but yes first learn it then fill the igp directly learning it without learning it you can't fill those igps yeah sure okay sure clear yeah yeah clear Any more questions, Ram? No, actually, I just looking for this profile. So, how future? If you are if you are coming changing for a domain name, if you want to come to IT the IT field, Ram, in IT field, everything is moving to cloud platforms, and yeah. already cloud is having a very good market, and definitely future in IT industry is all about cloud. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Henry, you can unmute. Henry, you have already unmuted yourself. I'm not able to hear you. Henry, are you able to hear me? 
and it looks like you have some issue with your mic, please resolve, then you can raise your hand. Yes, Santosh. Uh, yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Santosh. Uh, I am a uh, botnet uh, full stack developer. Uh, currently, okay. in my company, I am not having any exposure to cloud, but uh, next week, I am joining one product-based company. So, they have... Which company? Uh, <coughs> uh, Walter's Clover. Okay. So, they have told me that uh, they... Uh, they are also now shifting to all cloud and all. So I have yeah. to be uh, uh, that uh, <clears throat> I have to be uh, get know the things in cloud. So uh, specifically Azure. So that's why I'm starting this patch. So uh, for now, what should be my uh, career projectile for this uh, particular profile? You have said that you are already joining one company. You have already switched the company, mm. and they want that you want to. You need to know cloud platform also. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So just do as per their requirement because you have already switched to new company and mm -hmm. you are not much aware that what they are might be looking for. Yeah, yeah. First join that company, then might be in after two, three months, then definitely you can take some decisions also. Okay, okay. Means it is okay. not uh, right now, like even a... I, I I because you said they're switching the company, so even I can't give you any suggestion here that mm -hmm. you can do this thing or that particular thing because you are in a switching mode right now to other company. Right, right. Okay. But you need to get, as per their requirement, first you need to learn these things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then after two, three, four months, or might be six months, then you'll get explorer about that particular company. Mm -hmm. And then we can give you some suggestions also when you get those information about that company. Okay. Okay. It means it is not like okay. that on from first day only I should be proficient in Azure like that, no? In no, 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 no. You don't no. need to worry about those. And slowly, slowly, even this is a 40 <laughs> days of training on mm -hmm. day one or day two, it's not possible for me or for you to mm -hmm. learn everything or it's not possible for me to teach everything on day one or day two. Okay. Slowly, slowly, as per our growth, we are going to learn and we'll understand more things in upcoming. Mm -hmm. And uh, regarding this course, sir, uh, live will be free or live? Uh, no, it's a paid training. It's a completely because earlier paid training. I have attended uh, other trainings which were live uh, were free. That yes. only AWS live training was free. Even that also we have stopped. Okay, okay. Got it, sir. Got it. Okay, it's a completely a paid training. So now only up to how many days I can attend so that I can... Only attend. three to four days. Three to Excellent. four days. Okay. Okay, okay. Sir, got it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir, Dr. Sir. Yeah, hi, Ankit. So my hi. question is, uh, I'm SQL DBA, currently working in Negaru. Okay, DBA. So if, uh, do you also you know, uh, explain about the SQL related things also in this course or uh, it is separate? Uh... We are, no, we are, we are going to learn about how to create database. Mm -hmm. That's what we are going to learn. In that one, basic SQL queries, I'll show that how we can run those SQL queries. That's all. We are not, because this is not a SQL training, we are not going to learn SQL. This is Azure training. So we'll uh, focus yeah. on Azure things. Yeah, yeah, I, that is fine. But because uh, we have some migrations from, you know, non, on premises to Azure, something like that will be there, right? So, so if I no. want to learn that one also, there is a separate course or? Uh... Which thing you want to learn? Okay. You want to learn migration part, Shiva? Yeah, yeah, that's the migration part is coming under expert level. This is admin training. After that, the next step is there are two next steps we have it after that. Okay. Let, let so me far, just uh, just, some, uh, just, some. Yeah. just one minute. Yeah. Let's show you something. This training which we are going to learn is this one. Um okay. This one. Azure Administrator Associate. Okay. The one which you're talking about, the migration part, it is coming under this one. Too. Azure Solution Architect Expert one. Okay. So okay, that is the next step which we have. And okay. even you have one more step here. Fundamentals also here. No, we are not covering fundamental. Fundamental is an optional training. Okay. Fundamental is an optional training. It's not mandatory to learn. You can directly come to this one also. You can see here, just mm -hmm. mention those are optional. So fundamentals, whatever we have, these are mm -hmm. optional. It is completely a wastage of time and money. 
okay without this one also we can enter into associate level you can directly jump to as architect associate as and also okay thank you thank you so and what about yes. uh, if you miss any class uh, will you be sharing the video definitely also? every session recording we are going to share with our paid candidate day one day two day three recording all will get after that only paid candidates will get the recording and after three to four session even we are going to change the link only paid candidates can join the link after Sure, sure. Yeah. Thank okay. you so much. And all the recording, whichever we are providing it after day three, it is mm -hmm. only going to upload in our website called logicalabstech.com. So you can access those recordings by using our website or mm -hmm. we have our mobile app also. For OS so how, also, even for mm -hmm. Android also. How long you can uh, access from there. Happen? Lifetime access, you are getting it. No download option. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yes, Kamal, you can. Hi, Ankit. Good evening. Good evening, Kamal. Yeah, uh, I had uh, before uh, uh, AWS uh, training with you. And uh, today I From got... which batch? Um, yeah, uh, 97, 91, I think. I think. Okay. Sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, currently AJ104 uh, you are giving uh, all the training. Uh, yes. What about AJ400? Is it possible after uh, you are planning? In yes, we have already providing the Azure DevOps training also. It is already even one batch is going on at 8 p.m. IST. Okay, okay. Uh, one uh, batch is already going on. Okay, next batch, when we will start this one? Uh, is that 400? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't remember. I can't give you the commitment right now. Okay. okay. Approximately, when, I am, I am uh, approximately, if I say, might be end of this month. Okay. Okay. That is good. Okay. Okay. So, but in the to go with the DevOps part, this is DevOps part actually. You need to have some knowledge about administrator also. Yeah, you yeah. can um, learn before that or after that, but it's mandatory to have those knowledge. Also. Okay. Uh, because no, uh, currently I'm working in AWS, but uh, my yes. manager told me to learn the AWS uh, Azure. Uh, that's why I am asking the uh, suggestions. Uh, may yes. I go with the uh, AJ104 first and then uh, I will start uh, AJ400. That is better, no? Yeah, that will be the much better option if you go after that. Because no. in because when if you are go with the DevOps part directly, you're not able to understand few things Clearly, because you don't have any knowledge of okay. associate one option. Okay. 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 Uh, come on. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Ankit. I will. Thank I will so join uh, four hundred also again. Sure. Thank you, come on. Yeah. Uh, I will uh, pay on the Monday. Is it possible? Ye yes. Before Monday, you can make the payment, so you will get the link also. Okay. Otherwise, I okay. will pay on Saturday. Definitely. Yes, you can. Yeah, thank you, Ankit. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, uh, Ram, you can unmute. Hi, uh, my name is Gasi Ram. Gasi Ram, yes. Yeah, actually, I work as a uh, network engineer and data center engineer. So mm -hmm. I'm confused which one, if you can suggest me, it is good for me, actually. So no. uh, I have no In idea. Things, from Azure. No, don't worry. If you don't have it, even a person but, who is fresher, a person who's having any other previous experience, anyone can join this particular course. There is no pre because to learn this course, there is no prerequisite. We have it. Uh, so which which one is good for me actually? Uh, AZ104 or as a network engineer, if you can suggest. No, I did I didn't work on that one, so I can't give you that much I that how what in that one you are going to be learning. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. only working in AZ104 and 400. I'm working on these two platforms. So will it help as a, me as a network engineer or? Even if you want, you, in this one also, we are going to create VPCs. Okay. In administrator, but it's mandatory to create us. Mm -hmm. So definitely you can easily go for though. You can understand those concepts. Little bit of networking we are going, terminologies we are going to use in these alls. Okay. 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 So you guess you can, if you want, you can come to Azure administrator part. 
Okay. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. Yes, Nadikum, you can unmute. Hey, good, uh, good morning uh, from the United States. I just got a quick question. Um, yes, you can ask your question. Good morning, Nadikum. Um, yeah, so, um, so I'm guessing this is going to be the regular time. So I'm guessing it's it's 7.45 over here. So you guys are hosting this every, um, every morning the from my time session, zone. Session timing as per Indian timing, it is 6 p.m. IST. And this will be the from day one till last day. Okay, cool. The time and, will um, be the same. Uh, and um, as far as like the payments, I wasn't too sure. It's my first time kind of, um, you know, doing these things. Um, what's the deadline and where do I make that payment? For making the payment, uh, you guys can visit to our website, logiclabstech.com. Even I'm sharing the website link in the chat box also. Okay, I do okay. one thing. Uh, after uh, logging to our website, first you need to go to our website and then you need to log into our website. Okay, you okay. can directly log in by using Google or your email ID okay. just by using sign up. After that, you can go to courses. Under courses, you will find a batch called 127 in the last. Okay, you can come here and make the payment by an hour. Okay. And um, yeah, and just sorry about that. One more question as well, because um, I do have work and you know school and stuff like that. So if I do miss a class, I can always go back and uh, rewatch it when I make the payment. Yeah, you can watch all the recordings of this particular batch. Even maybe if you miss any of the session, you will get the recording of batch one twenty seven. Okay, perfect. That's what I wanted okay. to know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, Kiran Kumar. Uh, Hi, uh, this is Kirat. So actually, I am working as a Lotus Notes developer. Okay, so I have so almost which eight. one you are working at? A Lotus Notes developer. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm almost I have ten years of experience in IT. Okay, so right now, uh, I mean, I don't know which. Uh, I'm in Azure side. Uh, I think that a developer, admin, and security engineers also is there. So I think, uh, I mean, I I'm a bit confused on this. Uh, which one I need to learn? So. So which one you need to learn, it's completely given your decision. Mm -hmm. Which one you need to learn, you, watch, you can even go with Azure Developer Associate also. We have, even you can go with this also. Mm -hmm. Completely, completely your decision that which one you need to learn. I am working in AZ104 because I'm not a developer. Okay, I can so... always suggest go because I'm a DevOps person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even our DevOps person can also go for a double per also. So I'm working in AZ104 and it AZ400. I'm working on these two platforms. Okay. So if 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 it, if I complete a Azure administrator, so mm -hmm. uh, do I need to learn any other tools of related to this, or if this is only enough to find the job in the no, this IT? is also enough to find a job, but yes, if I talk about a package, if you have more knowledge, definitely you'll get a more package. Given. Let's say example, I just give an example. Let's say example in associate one, you're getting a five lakhs package. But if you have with administrator, you have a DevOps knowledge also, the might be will get 7.5 lakh package. I'm just giving an example here. So you definitely have more knowledge, you will get more package. Okay. Okay. But I always suggest like in this training also, there are a few people who are in my DevOps training. They are also joining right now. I know that the person named called Venkita, he joined from USA mm -hmm. and he already learned, he's already learning this DevOps. So if you have this knowledge, AZ104 and AZ400, you'll get a more package also. Okay. And okay. more opportunities you will find. Well, only this Azure administrator will end, then uh, obviously we'll, be, we'll find the job in. Azure administrator, sorry, right? Sorry, can you repeat again? No, if 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 we learn Azure administrator, we'll find mm -hmm. the job on that Azure administrator, right? Related to that. You will get it, but if I talk about more jobs, Kiran, mm -hmm. let's example 100 jobs are there for Azure. Okay. More than 50 percent of jobs you will find with these two. Okay. They're looking for a person who can work on both the things. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yes, that is correct. So in this course, we will cover 104, 305 also, right? 305, we are not covering it. 305, we are not covering it. No, this is AZ104, only in AZ104, we are covering it. Okay. okay.
Akesh Sanwal, you can unmute yourself. Hey, Ankit. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, good, good morning. Good evening in India. Good evening. Uh, I'm in States and uh, <clears throat> you hear me, right? Sorry? You, you hear me? I'm yes, driving, yes, I'm able so, to hear you. Yeah, I mean, it may be a little, uh, you know, noisy. Your yeah, voice so, is clear. Yeah, I'm looking to, you know, um, I mean, I know, you know, Azure, but I need the two certifications and tough to do certification on your own. I just wanted to have some, you know, um, guide to, you know, take, take me to. So uh, I need to do this certification and then go for the uh, architect. You want uh, to do this AZ104 certification? Yeah, and then uh, go for uh, the architect certification. Uh, what is the that one for uh, okay. Azure architect? This is, you just want to do AZ104 certification. Yeah, I mean, I want to do this one, the admin one, and then uh, go for the uh, next one, uh, the architect one. This one? You know what T05. is uh, required before? Mm -hmm. T05 you want to do. T05, okay. So I can do no, after you're... doing this uh, admin? No, this, uh, this course is related only for AZ104. Even after completion right. of this training, if you want to do certification, we are providing dumps. With the help of okay. these dumps, you can clear the certification. With this training, mm -hmm. you can't clear the certification. There's a reason. Right. The reason is, yeah, yeah. reason is for certification, you need theory knowledge to work in real time and to clear interview. You need practical knowledge. And this is completely right. a practical training. So with this training, you can't clear the certification. For that certification, we'll provide you a dump at the end of the training. So after that, you can clear the certificate. Okay. Okay. Yeah, got it. Thank you. Yes. Ola Budi, you can unmute. Hi. Good evening, India. Uh, good morning from you. I'm from the States. Good morning. Um, here's my question. Yeah. Um, one of my uh, one of my family member introduced me to your uh, to your classrooms and everything. Told me that um, it's good. So um, my end point is because is to become a, a DevOps engineer. So now um, am I on the right spot? Am I on the right class collection? Because I just set up a Microsoft Azure, and I said, oh, you know what, Microsoft Azure should be something around um. Same kind of pattern with a DevOps engineer. Let me start with that because you guys didn't have the DevOps class, the one you had, the last batch you have going on right now. I started already, yeah. which is late for me to join. So I said, I, I decided, you know what? Let me just join Microsoft Azure and let me see where I go from there. Am I in the right class or I need to wait for the, any other batch? Okay, so you want to do the DevOps part, but yes, to do DevOps part first, I already told that you need to know this knowledge also, or you can first learn DevOps and after that you can go to admin. But it's mandatory to have knowledge of administrator to work on DevOps part also, or you need to have developer knowledge. Because few other okay. things which are common in DevOps part with that administrator one also. Okay, so it's okay. up to your one, whichever you're learning first, you can go with any of the one. So now uh, what I need to do is that I need to do this 104. Then after that, I do 400. And um, do I have to do the 305? No, you can go with AZ104 AZ and AZ400. AZ05, if you want to want more knowledge, definitely, yes, you can go for it. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Um, and, and what about certifications? For certifications will help you in the dumps for AZ104 and AZ400. We'll provide you the dump. Oh. With the help of that dump, you can clear the certifications. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, Henry, you can unmute. Good. Um, my end goal is eventually to land in. If you could bring back the certifications back up uh, to the screen. Which thing you want to learn? Uh, I'm saying, could you bring back the certification page that you were just yes, showing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Okay, so this class is the AZ104, correct? Correct. Okay, all right. So my goal is eventually to get into Azure Data Engineer. So I wanna know how these two relate. No, Data Engineer is different thing. This is completely a different services which we have into that. It's completely related to databases. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so in this one, we are just covering it very basics of database because we require only very basic thing. Okay. But this is completely a different course, which we have. No, no, no. We are, we are no, not providing I, it. No, I totally understand that it's completely different. But what I'm saying is like, um, Transitioning after the Azure administrator to the data engineer, is that something, is that a different pathway completely or is something It's else? completely a different path. Okay. Right, okay. I'm even I'm not sure about that. Is there any link between data engineer and administrator? Might be it will be there, but I'm not 100% sure that do we have any link or might be we have any common services between. Okay, but that's fine though. I'm still gonna take okay. it for us. Uh, I wanna, um, I already did Linux administration so i'm hoping that maybe i can find some way to connect that to this one definitely you'll get a knowledge about azure you are getting it more knowledge about the cloud platform what are the services we have at an issue all right sounds good okay. sounds good thank you right. mm -hmm. yes kasiram you can unmute Gasiram, do you have any question? I think I've already answered your question earlier. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Okay, please lower down your hand. Yes, Saikumar. Sai Kumar TVR, you can unmute yourself. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good evening. Uh, I'm from an on background. Uh, do I need to do the earlier fundamental score, fundamental course, or uh, no. will this it's, course be enough uh, for understanding? It is enough. Uh, at least I told that fundamental is a waste yeah, of yeah, time yeah. and money. Okay. okay. No, no required oh, okay. of fundamental. Okay. 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 Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, go PM. You can unmute. Gopi, you can unmute yourself. Yes, Krishna Vardhan, you can unmute. Yep. Hi, Ankit. Hi, Vishnu. Yeah, actually, I'm new to Azure. Uh, so, based on your training, if you want to practice, so uh, can we set up a uh, Azure account? Similar to AWS, uh, we can set up a sample account, right? Like some student account. So yes, we have, we are getting it free quota also. Like in AWS, we are getting it same, yeah. not exact same, but little different. We are getting it free quota also for 12 months. We are getting it. Okay, for 12 months. Okay. For 12 months, also we are getting at first 30 days, they are providing some credit to us also. That also I'll discuss in tomorrow's session, that particular part. Then I'm going to show you how to create your Azure. Okay. And what will be the duration of this course? Like how many days? 40 days. It's 40 days, the course. Oh. Okay. Thank you. That's it. Okay. So those have raised their hand. Guys, you don't need to lower down your hands. I'll come back to you after a few minutes. First, we'll start with our demo session. Then I'll come. You don't need to lower down your hands. Now, whenever a word is coming, Azure, what are the first thing needs to be ever come in mind is cloud computer. Because Azure, AWS, GCP, Google Cloud, what are all these? These all are cloud computing platforms. We can access these cloud computing platforms from any part of the world, from any remote location we can access by using public or private network. And we can access these clouds from any type of device also, from our laptop, from desktop, from mobile, from tabs, from anywhere we can access their application, infrastructure, or storage, whatever the services we are using it, 
we can access from any part of the ground. We can access by using public or private network also. What is public network? The, inter the normal internet which we are using right now. Right now, we all are connected with Zoom. How we connected with Zoom? With the help of public network. And what is private network? Might be you have listened a word called VPN. The network which is used in organizations. VPN. That particular network is called as private network. And that particular, with the help of that particular private network, also we can access this particular cloud. Here are some features of cloud computing. I'm not going in much details about these features. Here are the, some 10 features we have mentioned it for our cloud. But yes, I'm going to discuss about two features. One is security, other one is yes. In cloud platforms, we are getting it one of the best security features we are. Getting. And we only need to pay as you go. Means if I'm using that particular service for 10 minutes, I only need to pay for 10 minutes. I don't need to pay for full day or for full month or for full year. If I'm using that particular service for one hour or 10 minutes, I only need to pay for that particular. Now let's take example here, I need to create my own OTT platform. And my requirement is I need all the servers, whichever the servers I'm going to use to create my OTT platform, it is in my own office. If I want to, in my own offices, I need to purchase RAM, CPU, hard disk, desktops, I need to do a lot of investment. I need internet connection also, a high-speed internet connection, which we are calling it as lease line internet connection. Not a normal broadband connection, we can't use it. We are using a high-speed internet connection and those internet connections are called as lease line internet connection. And we need electricity backup also, which runs 24 by 7. If anything get happen, so we are having backup with the help of generators or with the help of inverter. Whichever we what we need a inter internet backup also we need. If our one internet is down, so our second internet will work. If our electricity gone, so our internet that electricity backup will also work. It means let's take example. We need to done a investment of ten lakh. If our OTT platform will not work, whatever the investment we have done, I'll get VC. Okay, we'll, we'll resell our servers also. But still, we can't recover that much of the amount. We have done a lot more of investment to create our own platform. That is why nowadays everyone is moving to cloud platform because they don't need to manage all these things. Just pay two rupees and we can create our account and we can start working on those cloud platforms. Even those two rupees also we are getting refund from our cloud platform after three to five working days. Just to validate our card details, we need to pay two rupees too. Even that also we are getting it means to start our business, we need to done a zero invest. But if you want your everything on your own premise to start your business, you need to done a huge investment. And you can only use that particular server, which are cost you very less for your starting of your business. Slowly, slowly, when your business grows, you can increase. CPU, RAM, or hard disk size of your servers, whichever you are going to create under your 
cloud part. And you only need to pay for that minute, for 10 minutes if you are using, or for 100 minutes, only need to pay for that particular time. Coming to the types of cloud computing. We have two types of cloud computing. One is called deployment model. The other one is called service model. In deployment model also, we have three types, public, hybrid, private. In service models also, we have three types, IAAS, SAAS, EAAS. In Azure, we have one service called virtual machine, where we are going to create our own servers in cloud platform. That particular service is coming under public Cloud. This is the first service which we are going to start from tomorrow session. Public cloud service, virtual machine. In Azure, we have a service called virtual network, where I am going to create my own network in Azure. That particular network is called as private. And combination of both the cloud platforms, so public or private cloud platform is called as hybrid. In real time, or even in our upcoming sessions, we are always using hybrid combination of public plus private. You will more understand when I'm practically showing you these things in upcoming session. We are actually, we are creating public cloud when I required private cloud, and when we required hybrid, you will understand more practically when I'm going to show you in upcoming sessions. Next is service model. We have a first service model is IAAS, infrastructure as service. All the cloud platforms, whichever we have in market, it's Azure, it's AWS, it's Google, Oracle Cloud, Alibaba Cloud, whatever the clouds we have it in market, all are called as infrastructure as a service. Why it is all clouds called as infrastructure as service? Because we are going to use their infrastructure. We are going, let's say example, to create a server. We need to use their RAM, their hard disk, their internet connection we are using. We are using their platform. That is why every cloud platform is called as infrastructure as a service. Next is platform as a service. In Azure, we have a service called Azure App Service. That service is called as platform as a service. Why it is called as platform as a service? Because under this service, we just only need to upload our code. Other than that, whatever the server needs to be created, that is completely taken care by the. Just upload our code. We'll have a list of codes we can upload Python, PHP, .NET, any type of code, whichever you want to upload as per their list. Just upload your code. Everything is taken care by the. They'll create the infrastructure, whatever we. We don't need to worry about the infrastructure. We just need to upload our. Next and the last one we have it is software as a service. We all are using Gmail. We all are using WhatsApp, Telegram. All are these called as these are called as software as a service where we have web applications also or mobile app. These are called as software as a service. These are the types of cloud computing we have in cloud platform. Not just in Azure, in every cloud platform, 
we have these types of cloud accounts. Talk about Azure also have, AWS also have, Google or every cloud platform have these things. Now I'll come to Azure. Which company has started this Azure? By a company called, we all know who has created this company called Microsoft. We all are using Windows operating system. Most of the people are using it. It is also created by a company called Microsoft. Started in year 2010 with the name Windows Azure. And in 2014, it has been renamed as Microsoft. They have invested huge amount of money in data centers. And these data centers, we are calling it as a region. They have more region than any of their competitors. If you want to see the full map of the region, here we have the link. Let me open this. Here you can see the location of those map. And even in this one, you can see the lo location of their satellites also. This complete map we can see. Here is it. This virtual tour of Azure. If this is India, here I'm going to see. Central India, South India, this is India. So we are getting it. Southeast Asia. These, these green dots are their regions. US, Canada, Mexico, all we can see. Here I can. So this is a complete map. We can see here wherever their regions are there. If I come here in Europe, here is India. And Azure is working on one technology which is might be going live by 2030. They are might be moving their regions under water. They are working it on a technology where their all regions will move under water. But yes, definitely they are working on that process going to be live by 2030. So by 2030 might be their regions, few regions, will move under water. So with that, they'll save huge amount of money also. Now, whenever we are going to create our Azure account, by default, Azure is giving you credit. In US dollars, you are getting $200. Indian rupees, you will get 14,500 Indian rupees credit. You are getting it. Website. And this credit, when you are going to create your Azure account, you are getting it for 30 days, first 30 days. It means if you use any service, you use any service which are coming under free tier or which are even as a paid service for first 30 days, if you are under your credit, you don't need to pay a single rupee to. If you are under this credit, first 30 days, you don't need to pay a single rupee. You use free service or you use any paid service. But this free tier data, this amount you are getting it for 30 days. It doesn't mean that after 30 days, they start charging you. After 30 days, also, you have free year also for next 12 months. If you are using a service which are coming under 12 months free, they are not going to charge you anything. Or we have some services which are always free for lifetime also. 
but under that also they have given some quota that this much of quota you are getting for lifetime. Now here I can see that which service is coming under always free, which service is coming under 12 months free. Here I have given the link. Scroll down. For these countries, they are providing the quota of $200 free. Here are the full country details we are getting. And is also here we have. I'm sharing the link in the chat box also with you guys. I share the link in the chat box also to you. So you can check your country also. For these countries, 140 countries are getting. Here are the services which are. I'll just example here we have a service called advisor. It is unlimited free. I'll go with some other services also. The first service which we are going to learn. Virtual machine Linux. Virtual machine for 12 months. 750 hours per month. Monthly account. Month we are getting it. 750 hours per month free. We are getting it. And here we need to use one type called B1S. We need to use one type called B1S. What is this B1S? You will understand in tomorrow's session when I'm going to create our virtual. Just remember, you need to use B1S type. And under B1S type, you are getting it 750 hours per month free. Same way for Windows also. 750 hours you are getting for Linux and 750 hours you are getting for Windows. For both the operating system, we are getting 750, 750 hours. And this is for 12 months. Like here we have a service called virtual network. 50 virtual networks are free always. But till that time, 50 virtual networks you are going to create in your Azure account it is always free for life. We have one service called VPN Gateway also. This one you are getting 750 hours per month with the type called VPN GW1 Gateway type. 12 months. So here in this particular link, you are getting it all the services detail which are coming under your free tier. Like here we are getting load balancer also. We are getting it. So all these services details you are getting. Which are coming under always free or which are coming under 12 months free. And even for 12 months or for always we are getting how much of free quota we are getting per month. All the details are mentioned. Here is the position of Microsoft in the market. This is a review. We are getting it on June 2022. Next review we will get on June 2020. Every year in June by this company, we are getting a market review. In, if I talk about in 2021, Azure war here. So they have given few gap. They have covered it. It means they are becoming the leader in the market. And AWS is at same position where they are as at 2020. Every cloud platform has picked some market from 2021 till 2022 June, but AWS is at same. Yes, we know that AWS is number one cloud, but by 2025 to 26, Azure is going to be number one cloud. Why? Is there any reason? Yes, there is a reason. The reason is Microsoft is cheaper than AWS. AWS is charging on hourly basis in all services. 
when very rarely service they are charging on minute basis but microsoft is most of the services they are charging on minutes basis if you are using for one minute you need to pay only for one minute but in aws if you are using for one minute you need to pay for one hour that's the reason nowadays my microsoft is capturing it more market and if i talk about any technology in the market not just cloud platform i pick any of the technology azure has more jobs in the market than any other tech few months back we got one uh, something from my nokri.com also we are getting it from from newspaper we are getting it article from nokri.com in that one also it is clearly mentioned that more jobs in the market we have from microsoft azure no other technology is having that much of job which is microsoft azure is even you can search on google also you can check that and here are the list of services which we are going to cover in this particular training let's count how many services which we are going to cover 3 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 these 22 services which we are going to cover it and duration for this course is 40 days monday to friday no session we have it on saturday sunday saturday sunday just for your practice purpose session timing is as per our scheduled time start time is 6 pm ist each session we are going to record and we are going to share with our great candidates course fees is 5900 im if you want the course content link if you are in the whatsapp group you can check the whatsapp group description also in that one you will find our course content link also but i'll share the link also with you guys in the chat box now course content link i have shared in the chat box and we have already discussed it certification path after completion of this training if you want to go for any certification you can go for az104 and if you are going to pay what you will get from our side live training recording training ppts for this particular training i'm going to use some ppts and get other ppts which i'm going to total 89 ppts i am going to use and after every session we are going to upload these ppts and recordings in our and at the end of the training you will get these things also from our dump document sample resumes interview question and which help you to just check your knowledge whatever you have now what is this azure document this document is not provided by any of the organization this document is providing by me i have created this document whatever we are learning in this training all things are mentioned in this document with screenshots all things are mentioned here with screenshots also in this document the doc it's more than 7 year about 700 page document you will get from our site if you are going to pay these all things you will get from our site this is about from my side any question anyone have you can please raise your hand and ask your question yes deepthi you can unmute deepthi have raised your hand you need to unmute yourself to ask your question hello yes deepthi hi ankit uh, good evening uh, so i have uh, one general question so mm. i worked as a data analyst 
uh, yeah. using Python uh, in Europe. I recently yeah. relocated to India. So um, learning this course, will it uh, add some weightage to my um, career path or? Right now you're working on premises or you're working on cloud plant? Uh, right now I am working on on-premises. But definitely, yes, in future, if I talk about every client is going to move to cloud platform. Yes, of course. So at that time, it is going to be helped. All right. It so... might be in future, your client is moving it or might be your uh, might be project will get changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In that one, definitely it will help. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yes, Hemant Kumar, you can unmute. Can you help me on the uh, certification also? Yeah, for certification, like earlier I said that we are providing the dump. With the help of this dump, you can easily clear the certification. And these are the verified dumps. You can easily clear the certification with these. So. Yes, Simon. Check, uh, the dump questions are, uh, it's, again, it is repeatedly is coming. Yes, more than 70% of questions will come from the dump. And you can easily clear the certification with the help of this dump. Okay. Yes, Srinivas, you can. Yes, yeah, Ankit. Uh, yeah, I know you like uh, today morning. Also, we are uh, daily we are connecting. So this is the right time for me. As we are, uh, I in the early morning. We I'm are running. from AWS one twenty four batch. <laughs> May I? Run yes. I might be not wrong. It's right. <laughs> it's right. Ah yes, I remember. Yeah. Yes, you told me. Ah yes, and actually, like it is going good for uh, my side. And the two, I have completed that uh, IJP project also from AWS and uh, Azure. So now they are providing voucher also. So now my question is. Uh, so you, you have certification, I think, so today morning. The exam. Uh, yeah. to, tomorrow. Tomorrow, Actually, tomorrow today, you have. Uh, ah, okay. yes, tomorrow. So, yeah. For AWS, so let's not And actually, for the same query, uh, hmm. I'm going to attend that AWS, right? So uh, is it any particular thing I need to carry out for this Azure? So no, no, no. Like, without any knowledge. Like okay. you just started the AWS one. Same ah, yes. way you can join this also. There's no prerequisite. No Whatever prerequisite. is required, we are we are learning here. Okay. And uh, one more thing is I have seen it. AZ, AZ104 is for system administrator. After mm. that one, like uh, which course is better for that one? Whether it is going for DevOps, DevOps. or uh, solution architect? If I talk about as compare jobs, compare. Dogs, ah, yes. DevOps has more jobs in the market rather than that expert. Okay. Okay. DevOps only. So... Uh, after this one, AZ104, 305 is a DevOps, right? Instead of solution, no, 400. 400 is the DevOps, so not 300. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, then the, the last one is like, okay, this timing is also suitable for me because right now I'm in Europe. So it is uh, very good for me to understand the same thing. So minimum is Linux only, right? Apart from the same thing like AWS. We are covering same Linux here also in this training. Ah, and okay. you already know that Linux part, you have already yeah. learned that Linux part in AWS too. Ah, yes, yes. Currently, I'm working in AX and Linux also. No problem for me. Yeah. So that will be good. Okay, Ankit. So in this case, prerequisite is not required, right? The same way how we can manage the AWS difference. Nothing is parallel with that one. Sure, yes. Thank you, Ankit. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you, Shirnivas. Yes, thank you. Yeah, hi, actually. So, so people are saying uh, like Azure and DevOps and AWS DevOps. So what is this? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, just a scratch, uh, scratch question. This is like, uh, oh, you know, no, I, 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 I know that it's very confusion for a lot of people. Might be some people are listening only DevOps. Some people are listening AWS DevOps. Some people are listening Azure DevOps. What is that yeah. confusion? I'll, I'll clear it. Yeah, no, if I'm, you listen, I'll, I'll, I'll let me just clear your uh, doubt. Then you can ask more questions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you're listening only a word called DevOps, it means your client is using DevOps tool on on premises. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you are listening a word called AWS DevOps, it means your client is using DevOps on AWS platform. 
If you are listing Azure DevOps, it means they are using DevOps tool on Azure platform. That's the only thing. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, like, um, so what is the co-link, uh, I mean, uh, in between that uh, Azure and DevOps? So what is the link in, uh, in between that? So that we are going what? to work on those DevOps on Azure platform. And even Azure, it's have its own DevOps tools also. Not tools, I can say that, uh, DevOps services they have. Okay. So like okay. DevOps is more demand than Azure or what is that? Like, I mean, no. How can we say that? Yeah. DevOps is in demand with the help of Azure. Okay. With so the, on with, Azure platform. So like if you if you rate something like uh, Azure and DevOps, so which is a like what is the high so, rating for this? Azure DevOps is just one thing. Azure DevOps okay. is not a separate thing. You can see here it's clearly mentioned Azure DevOps in Gene, it's a one thing. It means okay. they're working on DevOps tools on Azure platform. But but DevOps is not owned by Microsoft and all, right? Like Azure is only they by have the Azure DevOps having its own services. Uh -huh. DevOps is a lot of tools we have it in market. You want to work on those tools, you can work on that. But Azure have its own services also. It is not mandatory to work on those third-party company tools. If you want to work on Azure DevOps, but yes, we are covering some third-party tools also, which are very commonly used in market like Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform. We are covering those also. So those owned by Microsoft, <laughs> is it? Those tools are no. belongs to. Those are belong third-party. Those are third-party tools, not okay, my well, owned by the Microsoft. Well, Even those same tool? tools can be like, used yeah. in AWS. Also, the same tool can be used on premises. But was there any tool similar to that uh, Terraform and uh, Kubernetes in the Microsoft or AWS? I mean, they won't. To anything? work on Kubernetes, first you need to create Kubernetes service in Azure. No, no, I'm asking. Directly, like, you, directly you can't work on Kubernetes. No, was there any service similar? How, I mean, uh, Microsoft have like Kubernetes. To any work service on like Venka, to work on Kubernetes, first you need to create Kubernetes service in cloud platform. Like if you want to work on AWS, first you need to create Kubernetes in AWS. If you want to work on Kubernetes in Azure, you need to create Kubernetes in Azure platform. There is no okay, similar that... service we have, but we have one mm -hmm. service. With the help of this one, you can work on Kubernetes. Okay. So like, without creating that... without creating of that service, you can't work on Kubernetes. No, those are all third-party tools, as you mentioned, right? But like... In Azure, it is mandatory to create that particular service in Azure. Okay. Okay. Without that, you can't work on Kubernetes. It's a third party company. Kubernetes is owned by Google. Okay. Okay. So, like that, yeah, like the Kubernetes and Terraform, is that Microsoft has owned any service like that? I'm asking. No. Any tool, any tool similar to that? No. No. If you're talking about Terraform, yes. With Terraform, we have it. ARM template, we have. ARM templates we have in Azure. Okay. And but yeah, for that question. one, you need to you need to uh, know JSON language mm -hmm. for okay. ARM. Yeah. For Kubernetes, and... we don't have any similar one. But to work on Kubernetes, I've already told you need to create Kubernetes service in Azure. Then you can work on Kubernetes also. So okay, and like uh, uh, like in, in Mark, so like uh, can we get any cloud cloud architects jobs or DevOps separately like that, or if you if you do combination, then it is more chance. Or what more chances if you do combination? Okay, for as a basic, I mean individual uh, cloud engineer, or individual DevOps engineer, it is uh, some very stuff. less, very less jobs you will find. Okay, and and I heard like in DevOps, a lot of tools are coming and going like Chef and Ansible or something. So how can like we we different we depends on one particular tool like that the market is every day changing, right? So how can we depend on? We, that's why we are covering only those tools which are very commonly used in market in our DevOps okay. training. Those are very commonly used in market. We are only covering those tools. There are hundreds yeah. of tools are there. Yeah, that's what. So how we, can we? Uh, no, uh, no, uh, now one person can not learn hundred tools. Not possible yeah. for one person. But at least something like if we are planning for a big career in cloud and ops environment, so we should have at least you know some confidence on the tools which we that's are. That's why we are right covering now. it only the important tools. Yeah, but after six months, it may change, right? Like after six months or one year. 
again it will that be time you need to a cloud platform <laughs> is a technology where you need to upgrade yourself every day or every month mm-hmm. even i can't predict right now the one which i'm showing you like today i'm showing you that how it look like to create a virtual machine after 10 days the platform is going to be changed yes any so minute any day they can change the platform so you need yeah. to upgrade yourself every day and- and now and i also another example like uh, aws is like uh, not demandable nowadays as you mentioned also the fees particular uh, fee particular also is different from aws and azure azure is more co- price than aws why i mean other reason for that you anything you can please contact training institute for that <laughs> i'm 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 learning from you only actually i enrolled uh, no, for the, aws already so you please regarding the about fees i have not have any from you can please contact training institute no i mean today morning every day morning we are joining actually so no, I, i agree with you venkat i said that mm-hmm. regarding the training fees i am not the person who is the right it's like uh, yeah. it's a one time two time more than that is fine but it's like um, 1500 1500 is aws and 6000 is azure is like it's a uh, three times four times uh, than aws i don't know you why you can ask training is scheduled they'll give you the better answer now i'm the trainer i am not i am not the owner of the training institute okay, owner is cool. sunil gopavarappu i'm the trainer i have a just tie up with them i'm not their okay. employee yeah but generally like uh, how, that's much different please, uh, venkat like venkat, yeah. venkat venkat sorry to interrupt you that's fine regarding this please you can ask training institute other than that if you have any question you can okay please. okay and the, the last question is like uh, there is like services you said like uh, infrastructure and application service and uh, what is that ha, there are three services you explained right which three services you are talking about like uh, what is that uh, uh, i double s p double s s double s yeah yeah correct correct s w s models yes. yeah service models so, so mm. you said like uh, i IAS means infrastructure and PAS means platform and service mm. uh, software base like that. But mm. see, as I can st- understand that uh, uh, logically, like see, everything is a platform and fra- on the base. I mean, top on the platform we run the software, right? Like so, it will come like uh, you differentiated uh, SAAS. So the software based on I mean software based uh, model you said, but. of course the on the platform top of the platform the software only run will run right like uh, so what is i mean how did you differentiate three models like that because everything is a platform is aws or uh, azure and on the top of the platform we run the software or whatever we wanted so but how did you differentiate again these like, are uh, the uh, models we have it right yeah these right. are the simple models we have it if every cloud platform is coming under infrastructure as a service model we have in every cloud platform we have a service that service is coming under platform as service in azure we are getting azure app service in aws we are getting it elastic bean stack and gmail whatsapp all are coming under a category called software as a service these are categories they have defined under service model okay thank you okay thanks for the time yeah yes sir Yes, Aditya. I think for to ask your question, you need to unmute yourself. Yes. Uh, so I am working uh, in this uh, IT industry for past ten years. Okay. So my question is, uh, uh, like, uh, like mostly Azure AZ four hundred is uh, mostly related to AD, right? Uh, it is mostly related to AD environment. If I am not wrong, it is most related to. AD AD environment active directory azure active directory is one service we have it okay that is one service we have it in azure but it's not just a one service you need to know other services also okay that's why i mention it to total 22 services which we are going to learn yeah okay any more questions uh, nothing yes gopi you can unmute Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is actually practical session and all. Are you giving the along with the document? Uh, for example, whether uh, suppose once class is over, I need to follow the your videos, or you are providing any step by step document to follow. I am providing the PPTs on daily basis. I am providing the PPT. You can follow the recordings also. 
you follow this PPT also, whatever the steps you need to follow, it is all mentioned in my PPT. On the PPT also, you're providing what are the steps for one service to complete? Yes. Where you need to click, where you want to click, which option you need to select, options okay. are mentioned in my PPT. Okay. Like here you can see, click on next, next, next. Where you need to click, this mention. Mm -hmm. Got it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Sonia, you can unmute. Sonia Pratap, you can unmute yourself. To ask your question, you need to unmute. Okay, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How Azure Bell helps for uh, not uh, even not have much more knowledge about uh, like cloud cloud computing or else software. Like earlier in uh, earlier I said that to learn this particular code, there is no prerequisite is required. A person who is fresher, a person is having any other experience, anyone can learn this particular course. Okay. Okay, so the no prerequisite is required. So another question, sir. Can I get a certification or a, any credits for after a completion of 40 days? We are, we are providing course completion certificate. I think you're asking about that one. Okay. Course completion okay. certificate you are getting from us. Any payment is required for this, sir? Yes, yeah, this is a paid training. To join this particular batch, you need to pay 5,900 rupees. Okay. Okay. So where can I get our missed classes if I not Sorry? join classes? If you're not joining the class, if you miss any of the class, you will get the recording in our website. You can only access the recording once you make the payment. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Shivaji. Sir, I am doing a practical in Azure. After doing some active directory practical, you have to do domain and you have to do the domain compulsory. Which topic you practice, Shivaji? Azure, Azure, Azure. Yes, you will learn all those things in our upcoming session, Shivaji. Wherever you require, we will learn in the upcoming session. Hum, hum hai. Shivaji, those things we will discuss in upcoming session. Yes, you need to purchase a domain name if you want to practice the upcoming topic. Okay. 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 Yes, Kiran. Kiran, you can ask your question. Uh, once uh, we completed this course, is there any job assistance uh, you, you can provide to us? Yeah, definitely. We are going to share job details in our Telegram group. Whenever we are getting any job postings, we'll always share in our Telegram. For fresher or experience, we'll share all. Uh, one more question. In the Azure DevOps, if, if I, after completion of this, if I plan for Azure DevOps, and we have, we have in the market uh, AWS uh, uh, DevOps also is there. What are the tools mm -hmm. they are mentioning in AWS uh, DevOps? The same tool, related to the same on uh, the pipeline and uh, GitHub, GitHub, Docker, and all those things will be the same here, or is there any difference? The no, data bit of difference you will find in every platform. Not everything is same. Little mm -hmm. bit of changes you will find in every platform. Okay, so most most of that that means the uh, the tools will be the most the same. Seventy percent is same, but thirty percent I can say is different. Okay, so uh, I think it is not the third uh, question in this, I think so, but uh, still, I'm, I'm sorry for asking like this, mm -hmm. but uh, what are the tools we are using in the Azure uh, uh, DevOps? Like You can please contact our, okay, let me, I just, I have the post in front of this. Here is the course content link for Azure DevOps I'm sharing in the chat. Okay, sure. Okay, please. Yes, Mohammed, you can unmute. I've already uh, done a AWS course with uh, your uh, logic bag mm -hmm. with Sunil, and I have one question. Like, I, if I continue with the Azure. So do we have any chance that we can use uh, J 
Jenkins and like Ansible Terraform with the Azure? Is it possible? Because I have Jenkins been looking... and, and Jenkins, Ansible, those are coming under DevOps part. And in Azure, we are not using... DevOps part. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not in yeah, under and I, I, Azure. And yep. Azure. Yeah. It's built in service we are using in it. But a couple of the company, if I have like, like checking the job description, they are asking for Azure DevOps with uh, and, uh, Ansible, Jenkins, Terraform. So uh, how is it Ansible, possible? Ansible, Terraform, we are covering it. And you have already shared the course content. You can check that also. But those things are covering, covering under DevOps, but not in under Azure admin. OK, that's a separate. Okay, but how about Jenkins? Um, will it be covered? No, Jenkins is not part because in Azure, we already have its pipeline. So we are using our yeah. own pipeline, Azure pipeline. Okay. Now it is more, mm -hmm. it's using its own pipeline. Okay, all right, all right, sounds good. Uh -huh. Yes, Thank so you. Not, you can unmute. Hello? Yes, or not. Uh, sir, currently I am working as mobile application developer. So uh, I want to switch my career. Uh, is it a good decision like switching to Azure? Yes, definitely. Yes, you can switch to cloud platform also. Okay. And sir, uh, because in IT industry, you definitely right now you might be working on on premises, but in future might be developing the application which are developing on cloud platform. So if you have that knowledge, it will be help you to enhance your career. Okay. Uh, and sir, uh, my uh, mobile development experience will be considered in Azure or not? So. That is different experience. That's will not considered under Azure admin, but that has help you to enhance your mobile career. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes, but you can unmute. Yes, sir. Thank you for our meeting. Uh, yes, so, sir. of course, uh, whatever you taught, uh, this will be covered for how many experience we can put, sir? Like four years, or five years, or one year? Three year. maximum. Sorry, sir? 200, 200, half, or three years. Okay. So, suppose if you want to put for six years, seven years, so what type of other knowledge we need to apply for Azure? DevOps. DevOps and expert level. You need to have all three knowledge if you want to put six years of experience. If you want to put four, four and a half, then you can go with Azure admin and DevOps. If you want to go with six, six years, then you need to have expert knowledge also. Three things you need to have. So which course in Azure is important, sir, after that? DevOps, after no, that. After DevOps, I mean, after normal DevOps. Expert level. <laughs> expert level, expert. Expert, okay, okay. And another question, sir, for example, if you are covering for one year, uh, mm -hmm. for, for paying the money, so mm -hmm. we can attend uh, your sessions throughout the year. Is it correct, sir? Within one year, one more batch you can attend, but you will get the recording only for the batch for which you are going to pay. Yeah, you will not get the batches record. Batches unlimited. We can attend, sir. How many? One batches? more batch. Oh, only one more batch only. Within one year, you can attend. Only one, sir. For example, next month you are starting. Only that batch only I can attend. Correct, sir. One within one year, any one more batch you can attend. Okay, okay. And how about other faculties? For example, uh, Sunil sir is teaching Azure, and I attend. He's not teaching. He don't know even Azure A. No, no. Other faculty examples sir, I'm giving. So, for example, you can't attend teaching. other trainers. Okay, only I can. Only attend. for the trainer only for which time. you have paid. Only one time, sir. The last question, yes. sir. How many uh, real-time projects you are giving, sir, for Azure? Or one time? project we are covering it as part of the course content. You can please check the course content also. Okay. How many days you will be covering that project, sir? Last week? Because it's not mentioned in this, uh, the, the PPT which you are showing now. It's only the topics are there, but you didn't mention about the project. <clears throat> so are you covering in the end or are you covering at the end? end? Okay. So any reason you have not mentioned, sir, in the table? No, these are the list. Uh, if you see the heading, what is the heading? Uh, list of you? services. Yeah, yeah. So this, as per the heading, it is mentioned list of services. Okay. And as per the services, we are going to cover them. Uh, no, sir. I'm asking about the project. Uh, we have not it mentioned is mentioned in course content. Did okay. you see the course content? Okay, it is there. Okay, right. You see the PPTs. Please check the tier number PPT. Sure. How many days you will be covering, sir, that project? Just one day project. 
but one day is it sufficient sir i mean for the years experience so just a one day project we are covering we will not one day one hour i can say yeah so that is sufficient do you think sir because mainly project only they will ask na no you want to put some more projects that you you will get in sample resumes which i am going to show okay okay sir thank you yes mentor hi uh, good morning good. um this one is um azure administration so can you mm -hmm. go back to where you have the various um courses just a minute yes yes so so when will you be offering this dp203 we are not providing the training for dp203 so i can check on your website as well we are only providing the training for az104 and az4 so okay don't you don't provide for dp203 no we are not providing okay thank you okay. okay anyone have any question you can please raise your hand if anyone have any question yes sir uh, yes sir I don't. I mean, I just. I just want to to know. After mm -hmm. this, uh, is the uh, one or or four? Can we be be able to 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 follow the uh, the Azure DevOps engineer? No. Yes. After that, if you want, you can definitely follow that one. Is it a, is is the same? I mean, is is it like? Forty days no. or in it's, it's more also than. forty days. Forty days is administrator. Forty days is DevOps. Okay, I mean, you have to 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 put it on on the schedule, or I don't know. Do you have to to center the the schedule for it, or whenever I mean, I'm going to plan batch for Azure DevOps, we'll update in our WhatsApp. Okay, sure, are you in sure. our WhatsApp group? Are you in our WhatsApp group? Yes, yes. So we'll update in our WhatsApp group. You can just please follow the WhatsApp group instructions or Telegram group. Whenever I'll plan any new batch, you will get updates. Sure, sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, Naveen, you can unmute. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, whatever hi. the records you are providing, it is a lifetime access. Or it is lifetime. a lifetime. Yeah. No thanks. download option. Lifetime access. You are lifetime. Okay. Thanks. That's it. Okay, so with this, I'm ending this session. In tomorrow's session, we are going to discuss about how we can create our Azure account. And then we'll start our first service where we are going to discuss about how we can create our virtual machine. This is the first service which also we are going to start in our tomorrow session. Any question anyone have? Till now, you can please raise your hand or I can end the session. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining the today's session. See you tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Someone has question. Yes, Lenovo tab M N. You can unmute yourself. Look like you have raised your hand. Ask your question. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Thank you.